that spot for Amy. Alright. That's it. Finding a hex screw to tighten them down so that way they, they fit nice and yes. So you can see when the grease is gone. Oh wow. It comes, it comes like this, uh, less dark gray. Yeah. So So we go this way, this way. Oh, it's going backwards. This way, this way, this way. Sweet. <laughs> we did it. It's so satisfying. Only oh, took us a month, but we did it. Look at this. <laughs> frame at the moment we have the x-axis built along with the y-axis which we are switching up though here pretty soon all the motors running not at the moment but we've had them running the x-axis uh, works good we're gonna have to add some bracing on these ends so that there's no bending because it gets stuck at some point on the rod we're changing up the uh, y-axis Instead of the rods in this shuttle, we're going to have um, some like T-braces right here, which we're gonna run um, some metal like framing across it so that it's more sturdy. And then we're just gonna set like the shuttle on top of it and to move across whatnot. Uh, it's gonna work a lot better than what we have right now. Also our belt attachment, we're gonna switch up instead of using this block. And with, uh, we're not, we weren't gonna use thumbtacks, it's just for experimenting. But uh, we're gonna use, I'll show you the paper. We're gonna drill a rod in place of the board that we have, and then we're gonna attach the two ends of the belts with zip ties to it. So it'll be a lot more sturdy, and we can tighten it really tight and whatnot. But that'll work a lot better for that. And right now we are working on finalizing the circuit, soldering everything. And also this is our Linux machine that we're running the uh, Universal Geco Sender software off of. See right there. And once we get everything all soldered and whatnot, we are gonna begin testing it. Who's here? Oh, so that goes perfectly. And then this one goes like that. Click. And this guy, that green, goes on that side. Click. That's easy. All you have to click hook up is just the uh, motors. Got okay, power. regulator all looks good. Power all looks good. And connected. Set. Were both of them stuttering? Yeah. Uh, Set. those wrong. Is it moving fine? That other one? 
No, the other one's not moving. So polarity is the same. Increase six. Did you do it? Yeah. <gasps> it's insane. <laughs> Goal! Yeah. Woohoo! That's awesome. There we go. Can I do the Y? Yeah. Wait. No. It's shaking again. Yeah. That's it trying to go off the ramp. Oh my goodness! Oh, yeah. Down and then stop. That's a 45 or 90, whatever the heck it's called. <laughs> This way, the inside is all light again. Cool. Pretty smooth. It's so smooth. Well, it's having Brahms in. Uh, 
All right. It's doing fine. No surprises there. Keep you going. Uh oh. Okay, so that that's a gap spot. Yeah, look at that. All through there is all lower than we expected. Thousand lines of code, mm -hmm. which is not tons. Um, I mean, we're doing 62,000 lines of code, but I'm doing it times three. 